episode will profile Mexican Mafia member Raymond Shryock, also known as Wero Shai from Articia, a white, white man with a brown heart. All right, he's been described as a white man with a brown heart. Now, this episode of Stories Written by Current Prisoners about this guy right here. He's doing life in prison. And this episode is very important because it shows you the psychology that the Mexican Mafia uses to take complete control over the Sereno Barrios that they are basically the Senate of. By humankind. When you lose that, you will never get it back. I'm going to try to get that for generations long. And I was like, but this thing, I was like, what the? So once again, he orders us to try to take my home way off. So he's talking about the fact that Hedo Shy is in control of his neighborhood and he's the OG. The Mexican Mafia is basically like the Senate of the uh, the Barrios, the Mexican gangs, the, the Southern Mexican gangs. It's just like the United States Senate. The United States Senate, the senators represent states, but in the Mexican Mafia, the senators represent gangs. And these Sereños, life's mission is to respect these carnales, these, these Mexican Mafia members. They have complete dominance over them. And in this story, he tells... He tells a tale about a five-year-old girl who was killed in the drive-by by by his value, by his body. And Hedio Shai contacted him and told him, look, that little girl was related to a Mexican mafia member, and you have to take that guy out. And after this happened, time and time again, Hedio Shai would hit him up, call him, and tell him that he needs to take out another and another member of his barrio, to the point where his barrio, his neighborhood actually disliked him because they thought that he was more loyal to the Mexican mafia than his own homeboys. And he explains the psychology of a Sereno and how they basically, they, they have to be accepted by the Mexican mafia. Because once you go to prison, you're in their house. They have complete control. So that's why they have complete control on the streets. But it's interesting. And I don't mean any disrespect to any of my brown brothers. Brown and black, you know, we're all a family. I respect Sereños. I think they are very militant, very organized, very structured. It would be a beautiful thing to see what these guys could actually do with that structure and organization if they use it for positivity. But um, yeah, man, the Mexican mafia, they, they they have complete control over these neighborhoods. And like I said, man, you're loyal to the Mexican mafia first and to the Sereno second. Check this story out. The story is written by current prisoner. Tony does amazing work. Peace.